On the line right now is the associate editor of The Hill, Jesse Burns, and we're going to talk about the possibility of a government shutdown. But before we get to that, I want Jesse's take on what's going on in the world right now and the difference between politics and Hollywood and, and, and media and how swiftly they react to any charges of sexual impropriety. And, of course, the breaking news this morning, just about 20 minutes ago, it was announced that Matt Lauer from NBC has been fired. Jesse Byrne, thanks for coming on. What are your thoughts on the Matt Lauer story? Yeah, it's uh, definitely huge. Uh, Andy Lack, the NBC president, uh, saying that they received just last night, or a couple nights ago, Monday night, uh, received a complaint from a colleague alleging inappropriate sexual behavior uh, in the workplace from Lauer, and now moving just a couple days later uh, to fire him. This is, you know, kind of sending shockwaves already uh, in the media world. You know, Matt Lauer has been at NBC for uh, years, you know, I think 20 years or so. Uh, And so this kind of, you know, coming, obviously, Charlie Rose just uh, a few days uh, ago, uh, definitely a huge um, move on the part of NBC to oust this, uh, you know, well-known person who uh, these allegations. Yeah, uh, we yeah. don't know what they are quite yet, but uh, well, uh, you can only Im- you can only imagine that that is going to begin to leak out, right? I mean, these things don't normally stay completely quiet. We might find out more as the day goes on. Yeah, I think the kind of shockwaves we've seen in politics and media uh, in Hollywood after the Harvey Weinstein uh, case is that more people are. Uh, feeling empowered to come forward, and uh, many of these media outlets, uh, even some politicians, mm-hmm. are even facing uh, pressure to, uh, you know, respond to their behavior going back even decades. Yeah, uh, so yeah. we're seeing the continuation of that today. So, I, I, how about though the inter- what is I find interesting is how quickly the media and Hollywood moves. Um, we saw it with Kevin Spacey. Um, Harvey Weinstein, quickly. People were distancing themselves very quickly. But in Washington, it's a completely different story. The two big, well, let's say, let's add three to the mix. You have the Roy Moore story that is that is out there, and it's different because he's not currently a member of Congress. But the two who have been accused by more than one woman, um, Al Franken and uh, and uh, John Conyers, these, um, these two still are hanging on. Washington doesn't seem to be moving anywhere close to the to the quick speed that uh, that we're seeing in Hollywood and in the media. Yeah, that's right. And I think in the two kind of separate cases, there's definitely on the on the one hand for Conyers in Michigan, uh, there is a movement among Democrats to actually get him to resign. Um, we understand that some members of the Congressional Black Caucus have been pushing uh, for him to resign. Nancy Pelosi, the House Democratic leader, has been uh, working kind of behind the scenes privately to try to uh, get him to that point of him actually announcing his resignation because we've seen uh, now multiple uh, women come forward and accuse him of inappropriate behavior, uh, kind of uh, in several of these cases. Uh, in one high profile one, he's been accused of you know changing in his his office uh, and them just walking in and seeing him in his underwear on multiple occasions. So there's stuff like that um, that. Uh, Democratic leadership is under pressure to yeah, no. uh, get him to resign. But, yeah, so far he's resisting that, of course. All right. Uh, I, I want to just briefly, I know we only have a, a, maybe a minute or so with you here, but uh, President Trump yesterday, I don't see a deal. Pelosi and Schumer reacting by not going to the meeting on, on the budget. But the president hinting that he doesn't see of uh, a plan in place or a clear path to avoiding a government shutdown. What What do we know here today on that? Yeah, the shutdown the deadline is looming. Right now, the government's only funded through next Friday, December 8th. And so there's a lot of pressure for Congress to come to the table, figure this out. Uh, yesterday, the meeting kind of blew up with Democrats refusing to meet with Trump. Trump decided to go ahead with a meeting anyway and uh, having a photo op with empty chairs next to him for the Democratic leaders that didn't uh, show up to the meeting at the White House. Uh, right now, there's some talk among uh, some of Congress that there is going to be a one-week uh, extension for lawmakers just to give them some breathing room so that they can hammer out this deal. Uh, but yeah, certainly the uh, specter of a, of a shutdown uh, has been raised yeah, uh, over yeah. the last 24 hours because of them not uh, being able to come to the table. I, I thought that the publicity stunt, and that's what I'll call anyway, uh, by Schumer and by Pelosi really kind of backfired yesterday. The fact that they're not willing, even McConnell said, listen, there are plenty of times 
And and to be fair, Obama never tweeted the way this president uh, tweets, to be fair. But McConnell said there were plenty of times I didn't want to go meet with President Obama, but I did because we have to continue to move forward. Did this backfire on the, the two Democrats? I, I think it did to the extent that it gave Trump the opportunity to, you know, have that photo op with empty chairs and, uh, you know, him arguing Democrats usually all talk and now they're not even talking. Uh, this is, you know, it's a hard to uh, win the messaging war uh, in Washington. And so anytime you're affording the White House an opportunity to kind of openly try to embarrass you like that, uh, it's not a good time. Yeah, uh, that yeah. being said, uh, you know, Trump did try to preempt this with that tweet uh, that they blamed their uh, refusal to meet him on and, uh, you know, kind of went from there. Uh, but, yeah, I think the deadline now looming next Friday, uh, regardless of kind of what has happened today, both sides are going to have to you know, come to the table on this. Yeah, and yeah. it might not be Trump might not be in the picture for that it might just be between uh, Republicans and Democrats in Congress. All right, Jesse Byrne, thanks for the time. We appreciate it and have a great day. Thank you. you too. Uh, Jesse Byrne is the associate editor at The Hill.